Praise the Lord, everyone. It's Elder Ledoux again, and I'm coming with you with another one minute uh, uh, sermon. Basically, this one is coming out of Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 14 through 15, and then we're going to go over to 22 to 23. Turn, O backslider, children, said the Lord, for I am married unto you, and I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. And I will give you pastors according to the mind heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. 22. Return ye backsliding children, and I will heal your backslidings. Behold, we come unto thee, for thou art the Lord our God. Truly in vain is salvation hoped for from the hills and from the multitude of mountains. Truly in the Lord our God is the salvation of Israel. What God is trying to tell us right here is, again, with this pandemic, People, we need to listen to him. He wants us to be obedient so that we can get back to him. We need to make him first again. We've been playing around and not not letting God be first. And I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I didn't say it the last time, but I'm going to go ahead and say it. We need to look at what we're doing in our lives with all this transsexual and, and all these different things that's going on out there. God is, is, is upset with us. We're looking like Sodom and Gomorrah right now. That's why this pandemic is here. And people need to stop saying the devil's doing this. It ain't the devil. It's God that's doing this. He created evil. He created good. He created it all. He created the devil. The devil doesn't have any power. Only power he has is what God allows him. If you read Job, you'll see that. But I just wanted to come and let you know, the only way we can get through this is to be obedient to him and make him first again. God bless.